Kia ora guys, welcome back to New Zealand. Don't judge me, please. What do you think of that? It's like being on a dodgy fairground ride. Anyway, welcome back to New Zealand. Uh, my name is Paul, and we're on a bit of a road trip this weekend. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome, thanks for your support. Just give that subscribe button a bit of a tap. Give me a thumbs up if you can, and uh, if you feel like tickling that bell in the bottom corner, that would be much appreciated. That way, whenever I put a new video up, you're not going to miss it when it goes antiviral. Right, okay, promo over. So this weekend we're on a bit of a road trip, like I say. Come down to a place called Palmerston North, which is in the centre of the island. Had a few people to visit. That's done, dusted, back in the van. Tonight I'm going to drive down to the foot of the mountains, where we're going to climb. After that, we'll get a bit of breakfast, do a bit of a, a bit of a tidy up in the van and then start the climb. That's round about maybe maybe a three, two and a half, three hour tramp, steady. It says it's quite steady, quite an easy walk. Sort of uphill, over valleys, uphill and down dale, that sort of stuff. Uh, the views are going to be spectacular along the way, so uh, stick around, we're going to get some nice footage, I'm confident of that. So once we get to our destination, which is the Rangiwakia hut in the Ruahini Forest Park, that's a mouthful for you, jeez, the Rangiwakia hut in the Ruahini Forest Park. Anyway, once we get there, have a, have a bit of a potter around, scope out the place, ready for sunset. Uh, and hopefully, we're going to get some nice mountain light for sunset. We had a cracking sunset tonight, driving down towards Palmerston. Uh, unfortunately, I was on a bit of a deadline, so I couldn't pull up and get any photographs. I got a little bit of footage on the on the old cell phone, but nah, no time to pull up. So fingers crossed, we get some good light tomorrow. Forecast looking good. The idea from there is to chill at the hut, get the sunset photographs, get to bed early doors, and then get up first thing in the morning to get the dawn and sunrise light. And hopefully, fingers crossed, um, I'm actually buzzing because there's still some snow on the top there. And fingers crossed, we're going to get some absolutely, I've got it in my head, I, I can see it now, I can actually see it now. We're going to get some spectacular alpine glow. It's going to be stunning. Fingers crossed. That's what it's like in my head anyway. What it's going to be like in, on the ground, anybody's guess. So I'm actually buzzing for this. I've done quite a few walks in the Rohini Forest Park before, but that's always been from the eastern side because I'm on the eastern side of the island. Uh, this walk is on the western slopes of the island, so that's that's going to be quite interesting, quite different perspective to what I'm used to seeing. I, I can't wait, I'm absolutely, I'm buzzing, I'm not going to sleep tonight, I, I know I'm not, I'm just absolutely, I'm itching to get cracking. So anyway, uh, that's just a little update to what's going to go on guys, so stick around, I'm, I'm so confident we're going to get some mega, mega footage, and I'm so confident we're going to get some cracking photographs. <laughs>
clearly back in the van. Now, yesterday was Saturday. That was the day we did the climb. The plan was, like I say, do the climb to the hut, stay in the hut overnight, make the way down the next day. Didn't work out like that. Did the climb, absolutely stunning. Quite easy going, got to the hut. The hut was busy, absolutely chock-a-block busy. Uh, so we figured, eh, we'll just keep on walking. Energy levels were good, so let's just keep walking. Carried on walking to a place called High Point. Looked at the signpost, and I'm sure it said something like about 1.1K. Okay, let's go for it. Don't know what we were looking at, but it turned out that it was a two hour, two hour sort of tramp to the uh, to the high point. So, eh, whatever, we went for it. Fantastic, the weather was great. It was really good, beautiful. Then when we got to high point, that's where I got some photographs. Uh, st just stunning. A little bit of the remaining snow on the, on the tops. Fairly moody clouds here and there, just drifting by. It, it was just beautiful. And with the, with the golden tussock grass, it just meant for some made for some really nice photographs. Basically, it was great, great day. But we did 19, just over 19 Ks yesterday. Unbelievable. My feet are killing, but it was bloody good. Really enjoyed it. Got a couple of photographs I'm quite happy with. So photography wise, kept it really light. Obviously, we're doing a lot of walking. Kept it as light as I could. I took the Fuji X100F with its fixed lens. I took the Nissi filter kit. I took the little DJI Spark drone, which is fantastic for travel. It's quite a powerful little unit for the size. I took the iPhone for recording video, and, and that was it. Actual photographs, I wasn't sure what I was after. I, I knew I'm in the hills, so you've got to get photographs of the hills and things like that. Nothing was standing out. Was plenty of viewpoints, nothing was really standing out. Nothing crystal clear that, that screamed that yes, you're in the mountains. Above the hut, you got really nice glimpses of, of snow-capped high peaks and that's when settled down got the camera out set up the tripod spent a little bit of time getting some photographs and uh, I came out with one photograph in particular there which I'm really pleased with I put the 10 stop 10 stop filter on 0.9 soft grad on just to bring down the sky a little bit and I managed to shoot through the tussle grass snow-capped peaks to the left and to the right and it, that just stands out like a that's, that's just a nice little photograph I'm really pleased with that it screams mountains at you and I, I just really like that got the tussock grass nice and golden in the foreground it's just a lovely little shot from memory it was something like ISO 100 F11 around about 25 seconds and that, that was just right just to get a little bit of movement in the grass in the foreground a little bit a little bit of movement in the clouds passing by the mountain tops just stunning just beautiful Go up a little bit further, up towards High Point. Took, it, found another nice little shot. Back towards the snow-capped mountains again, and uh, made a couple of nice shots like that. Similar, very similar sort of settings, and, and that, that was about it. Got a few shots on the descent, on the walk back down, as the light was dropping. There wasn't any dramatic sunset. At the end of the day, it was a fantastic walk. Tremendous place. The weather conditions were perfect for a hike. My boots. Now, I bought some boots a long time ago, and the, the work boots effectively, composite composite toe caps, so the quite rigid toe caps, going up the hills, they're fantastic, coming down the hills, man, my toes are bang, 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 bang into the toe caps, a little bit sore today, the next purchase on the list, going to be some decent hiking boots, so uh, I'll be in the market for some decent boots, alright guys, so for now, from New Zealand, on what can only be described as a fantastic weekend. Catch you later guys, have a great weekend wherever you are in this beautiful world. Kakitano, see you next time.